Hello boys and girls. Uh, so now we are coming to the topic of uh, reaction mechanism types and the uh, main chapter is the organic reaction mechanism. So uh, um, in the type of the how many types of reactions are there that means in an organic compound what type of reactions usually take place. So first is the addition reaction, second is the substitution reaction, third is the elimination reaction, fourth is the rearrangement reaction and the final is the organic redox reaction. But in your syllabus we will be uh, concentrating only on the substitution reaction. So. Uh, let me give a brief about what is an addition reaction. Addition reaction is uh, takes place, uh, the attacking reagent is the electrophiles, hence it is called as the electrophilic addition reaction. So the name suggests that addition means that the, there has to be the addition of some uh, reagents. So when in, in the case of an electrophilic addition reaction, that, that there is an addition reaction where in the chemical compound a pi bond is broken and two new sigma bonds are formed. So that means this addition reaction can take place only among uh, unsaturated compounds. So in the unsaturated compound, that means the, so the substrate is an unsaturated compound, the pi bond is first broken and two new sigma bonds are formed. So that means uh, the substrate of an electrophilic addition reaction that means it must either have a double bond or a triple bond. <clears throat> Now the driving force for this reaction is the formation of the electrophile that forms a covalent bond with an electron rich unsaturated C double bond C bond. The positive charge on the X is transferred to the carbon carbon bond forming a carbocation. So that means the reactive intermediate that is formed in this addition reaction is a carbocation. The attacking reagent is the electrophile. Now the substitution reaction this is the, this is the a broad uh, uh, um, uh, group of reactions that we should be focusing on in this syllabus because this is what we have to be uh, dealing with in more detail. So what is this substitution reaction? That means the reactions in which an atom or group of atoms in a molecule is replaced or substituted by a different atom or group of atoms are called substitution reaction. So that means in the substrate, uh, the substrate organic compound one of the atom or, or a substituent is getting replaced by another atom or group of atoms. So that means let us take the example of methane. When it reacts with chlorine, what happens that the hydrogen of methane is getting substituted by the chlorine of, uh, of a, by, substituted by the chlorine atom to give rise to a CH3Cl molecule. So that means the hydrogen is replaced by chlorine. So this is an example of substitution reaction. Now let us consider another example. This is the uh, iodoethane or ethyl iodide and when it is reacting with aqueous KOH, so what happens? The iodine is getting replaced by the OH. So this is another example of substitution reaction. Now here uh, let us take the example of a third case here. The, this is the benzene ring and benzene when it is reacting with HNO3 plus H2SO4, what is happening is the nitro group is getting attached to this benzene ring. So that means one of the hydrogen atom is getting replaced by the nitro group. So these are three categories of substitution reaction. The first two is known as the nucleophilic substitution reaction and this is the third category is known as the electrophilic substitution reaction. Why it is called as the nucleophilic substitution reaction? In the, in the first two cases what is happening is that a nucleophile is getting substituted. And here the electrophile is getting substituted. So depending upon the nature of the attacking reagent, we say that the first two types of substitution reaction is known as the nucleophilic substitution reaction and the third category is known as the electrophilic substitution reaction. Now let us come to the nucleophilic substitution reaction. Now this is, uh, that means as we have uh, uh, discussed in the last lectures, a nucleophile is a uh, electron rich species that means it prefers to attack a uh, positively charged species. So nucleophilic substitution reactions can be classified as nucleophilic substitution taking place at saturated carbon center and nucleophilic substitution taking place at unsaturated carbon center. But in the in our uh, syllabus in the BTEC syllabus we are concentrating only on the nucleophilic substitution at the saturated carbon centers. 
Now the nucleophilic substitution takes place by uh, two different mechanisms. One is the SN1 mechanism, another is the SN2 mechanism. Now let us consider what is the SN1 mechanism. In this case, this is a, our substrate, substrate and this is our leaving group. And what happens? This is the leaving group is attached to the carbon by a sigma bond. And the first step uh, under SN1, S, what is what do you mean by S and N? S stands for substitution. N stands for nucleophilic and 1 is the order of the reaction. So that means it is substitution nucleophilic mechanism and it takes place by two different mechanisms. One is the SN1 and that is the SN2. So in SN1 what happens is that the substrate first uh, uh, breaks or there is a heterolytic cleavage of the CL bond. L is the leaving group and there is the heterolytic cleavage of the CL bond giving rise to a carbocation. So carbocation is the reactive intermediate. We have discussed the properties of a carbocation and this uh, step is a very slow step. Now this carbocation that means the this is attacked by the nucleophile. So this our, our since our attacking reagent is the nucleophile, the nucleophile now it can attack this carbocation either from the back side or from the front side. Now what do you mean by back side and front side? Now the um, the side where the leaving group was attached that we call it as the front side and the opposite side is considered as the back side. So since the leaving group has left this carbon atom, so this uh, side is now empty. So the nucleophile, it can, that there is a probability, equal probability of the nucleophile to attack either from the front side or from the back side. So that means we get two different products. So uh, this, this is the then the nucleophile, it has attacked the carbon atom at the back side and this is the compound where the nucleophile is, has attacked the carbon atom from the front side. So this is the mechanism. So that means this mechanism is taking place by two steps. One, the first step is the slow step and the second step is the very fast step. And uh, uh, that means what is happening that this is the this this is a two step method and why we, we say that it is the sn1 one refers to the order of the reaction so that that means in this rate determining step is the the, the step which is the slowest step that that step we consider the rate of the reaction and in this rate the rate of the reaction is independent of the concentration of the nucleophile because in the first step there is no question of the nucleophile so that means the uh, this is the, the order of the reaction is one year. Now this is the mechanism here. We, we have already discussed in this last slide that this is the tertiary butyl um, chloride and when it is attacked by the OH minus ions what happens that in this step the OH minus ions have no, got no role. It is the chloride ions that first uh, leaves the substrate giving rise to a carbocation. This is the very slow step and there is no uh, question of the concentration of the nucleophile in this uh, step. In the second step what happens that the 1 to methyl anion this is the nucleophile. Now this is attacking either from the back from front side or the back side to give rise to two different organic compounds and this is a very fast step. So now in the SN2 mechanism, the, what happens that the, the substrate uh, having this leaving group, now this is uh, in the first step what happens that the nucleophile, it attacks the carbon atom even though the leaving group is attached to this carbon atom. So that means the uh, there is no loss of the leaving group here. So that means this is the uh, first step and this is the only one step the this SN2 mechanism proceeds by only one step in which the first step is the nucleophile is attacking the carbon atom uh, even though the leaving group is attached to the same carbon atom. So we are getting a transition state where the leaving group and the nucleophile are attached to the carbon atom at the same time. Now this cannot be possible because here the valency of carbon you can see that it is 5 and this is not possible. So this transition state breaks to give rise to the final product and in the final product we are getting the nucleophile is always attached to the carbon atom from the back side. So that means this only one of the product is obtained here. So this is the mechanism here you can see that this is the uh, this is the substrate where the brom bromide ion is the leaving group but here the OH minus that is the nucleophile it is all it will always have a tendency to attack the back side because in the front side the leaving group is still attached. So that means this is the slow step 
in which the transition state is first formed and the transition state then breaks to form the final product and in the final product the nucleophile is attacked is attack it has been attached to the back side and this is a one step process and this is the substitution nucleophilic the bimolecular why it is told as bimolecular that means near to where the rate of the reaction is dependent on the concentration of both the nucleophile as well as the substrate and this process is taking place by one step now what are the difference between sn1 and sn2 it is first of all sn2 reaction is proceeding by one step and the sn1 by two step it is a bimolecular reaction the sn1 is a unimolecular reaction and the product formation takes place by the formation of a transition state and in the sn1 the product formation takes place by first the in the intermediate is formed that is the carbocation now here the in the case of sn2 the carbocation does not undergo any rearrangement here the carbocation undergoes rearrangement and in the case of sn2 mechanical Mechanism, the reaction is fa favored by polar aprotic solvent in sn1 the reaction is favored by polar protic solvent and the the in the case of the sn2 the primary halides are more stable as compared to the tertiary halides whereas in the case of the sn1 the tertiary halides uh, are having a greater preference of undergoing the sn1 mechanism and the reactivity is same here the mechanism is favored when the nucleophile is an anion the mechanism is favored when the nucleophile is neutral so reaction velocity depends on the concentration of the nucleophile that means in this mechanism the uh, the slow step in the slow step the concentration of nucleophile plays a dominant role and here in the sn1 the concentration of nucleophile does not have any role in the rate of the reaction now the, the in the sn2 always the final product will have a inverted configuration and in the sn1 reaction mechanism we get two different products that is racemized products so this is the uh, the same thing that we have uh, this this is a summarized version you can have a look and uh, so this is all about the uh, the substitution nucle nucleophilic 